friend i am brother zana david welcome in case you're new subscribe to my youtube channels be a spirit tv and ego eye opener i want to quickly share with us a word i am inspired to share this word i am in song guy delta uh, i'm in the port um, i'm in the fishery section uh, song guy delta is is like a school where people come to do training and practical it is located in uh, the other state of Nigeria, Amobet. And it's a very beautiful place. As you can see, it's a very beautiful environment. And I was just thinking, I said, uh, look at the plantains here. Look at the plantains here. And it's such a beautiful place. I'm planting a lot of things here. Uh, this is the section of um, the fishery. They put fingerlings here. And I was just thinking, I said, wow, oh, a lot of people actually argue if uh, God actually created us to live forever in this world and never die before Adam and Eve sinning against God. But I want to tell us that God actually gave us a paradise to live in so that we'll, we'll never die but live here forever until sin came. The Bible says in the Bible says that God created two trees in the middle of the garden, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And man took hold of the seed uh, of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and eat of it. That moment God said, because you disobeyed me, you are going to die. And the paradise that God gave to us today, we've lost it. But thank God that when God was uh, passing his judgment in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15, he said that the seed of the woman is going to come and the serpent is going to bruise his heel and he will crush his head. Thank God Jesus Christ was sent to us to give us another life and which is a paradise that we're waiting for. A lot of people say paradise is going to be on earth here. Yeah, some others say that it will be in heaven, but I tell you whether it, it, there's going to be a new earth or a new heaven, which is what the Bible says. But wherever we're going to be, we believe that we will be in the very place that God will be. And also I want us to be very faithful in our Christian race because we would soon leave. We are going to leave this earth, the paradise that God gave to us that we destroy. We are going to leave this place and we will be in the place that God has prepared where no sin, where no Satan is going to come to deceive humanity again. And as I was just looking at this beautiful environment, I told myself that, wow, this beautiful place, I'm just trying to show you the environment, how quiet and how good it is. Uh, this beautiful place that God has given to us is what we've turned to a war zone. A paradise that God created is what we have out of our wickedness, is what we have turned to uh, IDPs, is what we've turned to FEMA camps, is what we've turned to a place of hunger and fight and a place of oppression. God is going to judge everything that man has done in this world. He is going to judge us and he will not relent until he gives justice to the oppressed and even those who have been destroying this planet. Just look at the beautiful place. Look at the paradise that God has given to us. This is just nothing to compare to what we lost. But I tell you that if you are living here, you have to... Uh, do what is right so that we can get back what we lost. The earth is not a place to stay. It is full of so many disasters. Thank God we have another chance to gain the paradise, to receive the paradise that we lost in the Garden of Eden. Please stop living in sin because we are going to live here soon. If you look at the world today, you will discover that... Oh, God. You will discover that Everything is turning upside down, was ravaging us, a lot of things happening. Uh, all the sectors of the society becoming polluted every day. So 
there is need for us humans to retrace our steps. We can't actually, no single human being can change the world. Now it has been written that the world is going to go, go worse and worse. But what do we do as humans? What do you do as an individual? You have to save yourself from the corruption that is in the world and deliver yourself by believing in Jesus Christ. Deliver yourself from the forthcoming wrath of God. God is angry and he's coming for this world. He's coming for the wicked. He's coming for those who have destroyed this earth. He's coming for those who are bought children. He's coming for those who carry a different kind of vices and wickedness in this world. Deliver yourself. Believe in Jesus Christ. And don't forget that even as we wait for the second appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ to take his people home, and after that, there's going to be real crisis. It, Antichrist is going to be officially enthroned and it will be really, really hard and bad for those who don't believe in Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you that in no way don't be left behind because if you get left behind, it's going to be very, very terrible for you. Thank you. God bless you. Share this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hosanna E. David, and visit my website, iguayopuna.com. God bless you. Bye-bye.